Welcome back to In Your Defense. I'm attorney Steve Tolan. If you are like millions of business owners, you are smart and you took advantage of the Small Business Association's PPP loan program. But now that the shine has started to wear off and we're settling in for what could be a longer pandemic time, business owners are worried about potential criminal liability through an audit or a, or a criminal investigation. Should they be worried? Historically, the data suggests yes, unless they follow some of these simple rules. So let's talk about three mistakes to avoid in your PPP loan process so that you limit your criminal liability. Number one, in the application itself, keep answers to all your questions in the application. Keep them in a safe place. Number two, the liquidity provision. That's the so-called provision where you've got to document why you needed the funds. Don't just rely on the numbers. They're dry and they don't often explain your business. You know it better than anybody. What you need to do is write a statement of position. Use three or four declarative sentences in your own words documenting why you applied for and why you felt you needed the PPP loan in the first place. Once you've applied, keep these records. Keep them in a safe place. If they're stored electronically, have a backup limit access to that. If you store them through hard copies, have a backup of that, store them in a dry, safe place. Number two mistake to avoid is in the acceptance process. Once you receive it, keep your acceptance letter. You'd be amazed at the number of clients I counsel that don't save their acceptance letter. Number two, put your funds in a separate bank account. Have those funds isolated from the rest of the funds in your business so that you can easily and clearly delineate when you pay those funds out and what they're for so that you can justify the PPP loan uh, proceeds. Number three mistake to avoid, the forgiveness portion. This is one of the most critical parts and it seems the easiest, and it probably is, but people make this mistake all the time and they subject themselves to criminal liability. Document all of your uh, responses in the forgiveness portion and do them timely. Eight weeks will absolutely fly by. So don't be like that parent who lectures their kid to uh, not procrastinate on their homework and then they end up procrastinating. Do as I say, not as I do, right? We parents can relate to that. Don't be that business owner. Keep your records, document as you go, turn in your forgiveness documentation immediately. Can you uh, potentially face a criminal investigation through the PPP loan process years later? Absolutely you can. In fact, the SBA suggests that you should hold your records for up to 10 years, even after your loan potentially could be forgiven. So remember those three, uh, those three rules, don't make those three mistakes, and you limit your criminal liability. If you're worried about this process or any criminal investigation and you have questions, reach out to me. I'm attorney Steve Tolan and I can help. This has been In Your Defense.